Hey guys, Ash here from c 4 Tech, and in this video I'll be showing you how to flash the latest leaked version of Android 4.4.2 KitKat onto your Galaxy Note 3 N9005. It doesn't matter if you're rooted or unrooted and it doesn't matter what ROM you're currently running, no matter what firmware you're on, any stock firmware, AOSP, whatever firmware you're on, you can follow this tutorial. This version of the firmware will be wiping all your data so make sure you back up your apps and data before proceeding. And uh, to reiterate, this works only with the N9005. So go ahead, check your model IDs, make sure that you have a N9005 before following this tutorial. This update will not trigger any counters and it will not void your warranty. So now, assuming that you have an N9005 and have backed up your apps and data, let's proceed. So, guys, the first thing you do is head on over to the download section in the description, click on link one, that will take you to this page. Over here, download keys 3, install it, and then exit it. This will help set up drivers for your PC to communicate with your phone. So once you've done that, clicking on link 2 will get you odin3 underscore v3.09.zip. So get it, extract it. Link 3 will get you the leaked firmware itself. Alright, so go ahead, extract that as well. So guys, right now, turn off your Galaxy Note 3. So guys, once your phone is off, make sure you hold the down volume, power and home buttons at the same time. Keep holding it. And once you see this, hit volume up to continue. So guys, at this point, you can you need to connect your phone to the PC with a micro USB cable. Uh, as you can see, I'm using a micro USB 2.0, uh, the regular cable. You can use your Galaxy Note 3's uh, micro USB 3.0 cable or uh, any cable basically, it doesn't matter. So now coming back to the PC, right click on Odin 3 uh, uh, v3.09, run as administrator. So first click on BL. Now we get to wherever it is that you've downloaded uh, the firmware files and extracted it. So that would be N9005 leaked 4.4.2. So click BL and select BL and then AP. Select AP, that'll be the biggest file of the bunch. And uh, just give it a few seconds, it might seem as if Odin 3 is not responding. Just give it a bit of time. Alright, so now click CP, select the file starting CP, and then CSC, and select CSC. So guys, now make sure that this has turned blue, as long as your drivers have been installed properly, it will turn blue. So in case it hasn't, just check and see if keys is running in the background. If it is, exit it, reboot your PC, uh, make sure it's turned, make sure keys is turned off before you open up Odin. If it still doesn't work, uninstall keys, uh, re uh, reboot your PC, reinstall it, reboot again, and then run it. It should get detected. All right. So uh, now make sure that auto reboot and F dot reset time are the only ones that are checked over here. Uh, anything else repartition whatever make sure they're all unchecked all right once you've done that go ahead click start so this will take about five to ten minutes to complete I'll be back with you guys once it's done all right guys once you see reset displayed over there you can unplug your phone from the PC all right you can also turn Odin off we are done with the PC part of the tutorial so guys now your phone will reboot before this you'd see a little green Android there just wait for it to finish doing its thing and uh, your phone will boot back up. So give it a few minutes. Uh, always keep in mind the first boot is going to be much longer than your regular boot times. So don't panic if it takes up to 5 minutes. So I'll be back with you guys once it's done. So there you go guys. We're up. So let me quickly run through setup. So there you go guys. We're up. So just to show you quickly going into settings. General. About device. And I see Android 4.4.2, KitKat running on the Galaxy Note 3 N005. So I guess that pretty much wraps up this tutorial. Hope you guys found it useful. If you did, uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button. And to keep updated on the latest in tech, make sure you check out our partners over at omegatroid.co. Coincidentally, you can also find all my videos there. So once again, that's pretty much it guys. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you guys soon in the next one. Till then, this is Ash here from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.